two students in, and we've had two terrible experiences with our Algebra 1 curriculum choices. Are we going to strike out with kid number three? Algebra is a huge turning point in a student's math education. Algebra 1 combines all the mathematical concepts that have come before and applies them in a robust, more abstract way. A solid foundation in Algebra 1 sets you up for success in higher math. A sketchy introduction to Algebra makes further study exceptionally difficult. No wonder the thought of choosing the best homeschool Algebra 1 curriculum can be daunting for the homeschool mama. So when my oldest child started Algebra 1, I used a hand-me-down curriculum from a friend. I'd heard this program spoken of highly before, and it claimed to need little to no parental involvement. And since it was free as a hand-me-down, I figured it would be a great option. Not so. It was such a horrible experience. It was a convoluted, poorly designed program, and I basically had to reteach every lesson. And that was with a mathematically gifted student. So fast forward to the next kid, it was time for Algebra 1. I knew we were gonna need a different option, but unfortunately, the second Algebra 1 curriculum we tried gave us strike two. Again, the concepts were explained in a tortuous way and the curriculum was poorly organized. Once again, although I had chosen another math program that was touted for its ease and student independence, I found myself reteaching the lessons and having to find alternate explanations for the concepts taught. So now my third child was approaching the Algebra 1 years and I felt a little bit of a pit in my stomach. Was I ever going to find an Algebra 1 homeschool curriculum that thoroughly explained not only how to do the problems but also why they worked? Would I ever find an Algebra 1 curriculum that actually took something off my plate as a mom, or was I doomed to several more years of math tears and agony? Well, enter Mr. D Math's Algebra 1 self-paced online course. Now, I have been singing the praises of Mr. D Math for several years now, ever since my daughter, who started with geometry with Mr. D Math several years ago, declared that Mr. D Math was basically up there with Jane Austen. You can watch that video, I'll put the link below. I mean, that enough may be enough to convince you to try Mr. D Math right now, and you don't even have to watch the rest of this video. But if you want a little more detail, my middle daughter, so my third student, had finished all her pre-algebra work by the end of last year, but I just knew she wasn't quite ready for the abstract work uh, with Algebra 1 and just the amount of content. She wasn't quite ready in the fall. And since homeschooling is awesome in this way, we didn't have to start math at the beginning of the school year. We took actually the entire fall semester to solidify her mathematical problem-solving skills, and we used a really unique outside-the-box kind of book uh, recommended by my friend Gina, and I'll include that link in the description as well. That was a great choice for the first semester, but I could tell she was getting ready and really was prepared to take the next step and start Algebra 1. So when I had the opportunity to review any Mr. D math course, I jumped at Algebra 1 very fast, you better believe it. But I was also a little nervous. I mean, we loved Mr. D Math for these other courses, but we we're already at the plate down two strikes, and I was a little worried if Mr. D Math would let us down with Algebra 1 once again. But I didn't need to worry with the self-paced Algebra 1 course that we have been using from Mr. D Math. We have finally hit an Algebra 1 home run and have confirmed once again that we really do love Mr. D Math. Now, if you're wondering how these self-paced online classes work, let me run through that really quickly. Um, the Algebra One self-paced online course consists basically of four things. You have a video lesson that teaches each new concept, you have printable worksheets, they're PDFs you download from the website, and students use those, they take notes on them during the video lesson and complete the problems on their own to kind of solidify what they're learning. Now those worksheets, students grade themselves. 
You also have online quizzes for each lesson and some spiral review that is worked in there and those are automatically graded online. You also have cumulative tests. So each chapter has an end of chapter test. You also have a mid semester or the end of the first semester test and then a final exam. If you're interested in this option, there are um, some honors credit add-ons that are optional for most, if not all, chapters if you desire to add those on. Now, one of the things I loved when my daughter started the Algebra One course for Mr. D is all of chapter one was essentially making sure a student is ready for algebra. It started with the very basics. How is math like a language? What is addition? What is subtraction? What is multiplication? Uh, uh, concepts of equality and inequality, order of operations, all those really fundamental ideas are worked into chapter one so that Mr. D is making sure students are actually ready to progress in the rest of the course and they're not just dumped in the deep end. Now, the self-paced Algebra 1 course has 12 chapters that are basically units, uh, and then there are five to nine lessons per chapter. With the self-paced course, of course, you set your own pace. You can move more rapidly if your student is ready for that or take more time for review. The self-paced course, all the work is done independently, graded automatically online, but you do have access to live weekly help sessions. So if your student has a question, they can bring the problem to these weekly live help sessions and the instructors are there ready to basically like provide tutoring at no additional cost. So that's a really great option for many students. One of the things I love about Dennis's approach to teaching math, uh, Dennis Denoya, who's the founder of Mr. D Math, is that he really wants students to understand what's going on. The goal is not just to, you know, check off the box, get to the next unit. You have the opportunity to retake the quizzes and the tests so that if you miss a problem, you are to go back, and he really encourages you, go back and figure out why you made the mistake so that you can really learn and understand. We're not just moving on for the sake of moving on. And I love that approach to math. Mr. D Math combines ideas of a mastery and a spiral approach. I would say it's mostly a mastery approach. So you focus on one topic and really make sure you understand that before you move on to the next topic. But he does work in these spiral review quizzes so that you're not completely forgetting things that have come before. Now, I would give one downside to Mr. D's online math courses. There is no actual textbook associated with this. All the instruction comes in video format. So if you have a student who really learns best in a textual way, this is probably not going to be the best option for them. And even for my students for whom this works well, say in semester two, they have forgotten something from semester one, well, they're going to have to go back and rewatch one of those videos to find the information if they didn't take good notes. I don't really mind that so much. A little extra review never hurt anyone. And I would mention that for one of my daughters in particular, a lot of words on a page can actually be very overwhelming and she'll get bogged down. So to have this instruction in video form is really of benefit to her. If you want to learn more from Dennis himself, the founder and teacher at Mr. D Math, you can actually click over here. I don't know. I've never done that before, but click over there. I'll, I'll add in the uh, link to my chat with Mr. D himself on the Homeschool Conversations podcast last season. And if you want to give Mr. D math a try yourself, whether for Algebra 1 or one of his other course offerings, I will put that link in the description below.